When we opened the door, what we saw brought tears to my eyes. About three months ago, we received reports from residents that they kept hearing strange noises coming from an uninhabited house. The owner of the house is said to have moved somewhere else a few months ago. Therefore, they suspected that there might be some living creature residing in the house. We immediately went to the above location, tried to contact the previous owner but did not have any information. Reluctantly, we called the police and went in with them to look inside the house. Everything in the house is messy and disorganized because no one has lived in it for a long time. What really shocked us was that I discovered a dog lying crying next to its owner's bed. Apparently he was left behind during the move and had to live alone in the lonely house. I don't know what he was eating all that time but he looked really exhausted and tired. It was so thin that it was just a skeleton and could no longer stand up. Even so, the animal kept vigil next to its owner's bed as if waiting for them to return. A dog with an unhappy life but has a warm and loyal heart. Seeing us walk in, he looked happy as if he was finally waiting for the owner. Oh poor dog, they don't need him but we will love him. The dog was then brought back to the rescue team to be raised while the police will try to contact the owner of the house. Now, three months have passed since the first meeting, the dog has now fully recovered and we call him Mart. It has regained its weight and adapted to life here. Mart shows that he is a happy and loyal dog, he always walks next to us or silently observes without leaving us for half a minute. The police also contacted the owner of the house, but they refused and denied any connection to poor Mart. Thinking about those cruel people makes me feel so sad and sorry for Mart. I firmly promise that from now on Mart will always live in love and happiness at the rescue team. We will always protect and care for him, making up for the painful days of the past.